Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So I was getting lots and lots of queries about what books we should follow for IMAT practice questions. What are the best books that we should, uh, from where we should practice for IMAT questions. So today I'm going to share all of the books all in this video. So let's get start. But before sharing books and all that stuff, um, let me tell you, it is totally a myth that you solve question and get something if you do not have concepts or you do not have basic knowledge about anything. Like, if you do not know the basic components of Krebs cycle, glycolysis, how you can solve questions. So when you will see question like about Krebs cycle, how much NADH we are getting, how much CO2 molecule we uh, are liberating this cycle. So you will see these are way more harder than I my preparation is. So I these are very hard. I cannot do them. Uh, although I know that if you are an I'm at aspirant, your um, preparation now should not be like that. But uh, I hope so. Your preparation is enough good. You have basic knowledge that you are going to appear in I'm at test. I hope you will have enough basic knowledge. Uh, that's why you are um, you have taken an initiative uh, that I should take this test. So when you will have all of the basic knowledge and you will be practicing question, uh, you will be feeling that. I'm actually revising something whatever I have read uh, I'm revising and I'm learning my preparation is becoming more powerful day by day when I'm practicing like more questions you are practicing after preparation after you have basic knowledge then you will be feeling that yeah my preparation is getting higher and higher so I'm going to crack down this video in three levels uh, base beginner level intermediate level and advanced level the pro level okay first of all let's move with beginner level or basic level so in this level you are preparing for am at like four months or three months earlier to exam if you do not have any uh, knowledge like maybe you although you have studied everything in high school but like do you think that i need to learn everything from you so what you should be doing just start uh, watch lectures and then uh, study from books uh, i have already shared you can find the link in video description after studying from books you need to practice some question follow a level practice question series like if you are reading a from a level uh, you should follow a level question series you will find on telegram or different communities you will be seeing uh, red spot or question series that i I personally did not do not feel like these are good mm, although I practiced but maybe two or three chapters they were way more easier like if you are starting new uh, then you should consider it like if you have four months and five months and uh, then after reading each chapter just go to the red spot they have got thousand MCQs for um, chemistry thousand for biology and thousand for physics uh, just cover the chapter and then just read the uh, questions like you after watching lecture and then reading and then uh, studying from these uh, questions like you are learning your concepts are uh, strengthening up so like you uh, follow this series but i was getting bored at solving this uh, i actually saw um, uh, try to solve them one month earlier uh, to the exam so it is like I was getting bored so I just quit and I moved to the intermediate level so in intermediate level we are getting to tougher MCQs you are going to face tougher MCQs like we are facing some real-time IMAT style question like it would be uh, BMAT question banks and particular IMAT question bank although in market at this time there is only one question uh, IMAT question bank from uh, uni admissions uh, it is around 650 mcqs i have already shared but uh, you will find the link in the description that book is great but i do not like actually uni admissions that their bmat questions and imat questions are totally similar like what they did they merged their bmat and uh, bmat questions like they picked all of the imat questions from bmat uh, books they are already created bmat books so I, that's why when I read, uh, when I practice all of the book MCQs from I met um, uh, 650 MCQs and then I moved to their BMAT, uh, they have got two BMAT question banks, uh, 850 MCQs and uh, 650 MCQs. 
so when i just moved to i feel like they are just like publishing their mcqs uh, for ahmed not making something new but it was there was some logic in that that bmet and ahmed are totally 100% same so that was worth but they should have uh, maybe you can see that the i'm their ahmed and bmet books are exactly same just uh, a name change so that's why but the other author books that is Lydia Campbell and Oliver Pickard they have got awesome answers i practiced it and they their bio specifically their biology questions are very great they have got two question banks beam at 700 and beam at 400 the best thing about these authors is author books is that they have mentioned reason for every mcqs but they have explained explained all of the uh reason in a very good manner that you understand whole topic from where the mcq is taken if i would say that if you are weak at maths and physics then you should practice all of the questions with reasoning from these authors the lydia campbell and oliver picker their books are very great like you will get something and your preparation will be like I I could not guarantee you unless you are not putting something out like not practicing it like just seeing I know that I I did the same thing uh, but uh, like you need to practice by writing all of them CQ solutions if you know just watch one time and just look at the solution one time and then practice by your own um maybe repeat after a day or two days but do this um in order to strengthen your concepts so that's the basic thing so in intermediate level we have a big one more big question series that is from alpha test it is an italian uh, academy that has designed question for specifically for imed purpose so they have got three i think uh, these are the older version as i just found on telegram so these are uh, alpha test 1200 alpha test 300 and uh, something 600 or 650 so these are like these are also some pretty easy but they have added some questions from past papers and although their questions are somehow conceptual like you will get something uh, out of it when you will practice these are worth practicing so i would recommend you to practice them uh, you will analyze uh, your weaknesses and strength and uh, just follow them although they do not have solutions like bmet 700 and bmet 400 bmet 400 and 700 are great from lydia campbell and oliver picker these two question bank i love them uh, you should definitely must solve them and uh, then alpha test and then junior admission now this was the intermediate level so now we are going to move on the advanced or pro level so in advanced level we are going to solve real time imet and bmet papers i'm saying this because imet and bmet questions paper were previously 100% same both were 99.9% same both were conducted by cambridge specifically the bmet section 2 uh it was totally similar to amet exam so it was considered worth to solve section 2 or bmet it covers actually chemistry math biology and physics so that was just practice there so bmet was originally conducted in 2003 and from now on there are a lot of question papers so you should solve that and then i met actual exams like from 2011 to whenever you are taking i am at exam just solve them and analyze what either is your preparation is now enough like you have followed uh, practice series in your start of preparation then you practice from bmet and i am at question banks and then at this time now you are solving actual exams what the situation is but i would say that i would recommend you to I'll so solve these IMAT past papers in the start of your preparation, so you can get an idea how your preparation is and how, what are the directions that uh, where should you go. So these 
are all the question banks that I have shared. So all these question banks will be in video description. You can download uh, all of them and practice it and good luck for your IMAT exam. So if this video was helpful, then don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, just give it a thumbs and see you in next video. Uh, till bye bye.